My name is Harun Ibrahim and they call me Abu Ali. To live in an Arab village like Abu Ghosh, it's surrounded by Jewish communities. We start to speak Hebrew, to learn Hebrew, to read and write uh, already from the third grade. Islam was not really an issue in Abu Ghosh. I mean, when I was a kid, I really had struggles with God. I prayed maybe one week and fasted less than that. I had so many questions. Who created God? Why God created us? According to Islam, you know, to have, you have to pray, you have to fast, you have to do this and that. If I would live 100 years doing only good deeds, I would not be able to cover the bad deeds I did in my life. I know myself. I met somebody on the street. He just came and told me, would you like to speak about God? Then he said to me, you know, without Jesus in your heart, you will not go to heaven. And I said to him, listen, my wife is Christian. I'm a Muslim. I studied in a Jewish school, so I'm covered. Thank you. I started to think about, about him more. Uh, one evening, I was in a, in a bus. I was alone. So I said, God, there is no way that this free religions could be the way to you. Only one religion is, is right. God said to me clearly that the way to him is not a religion, but it is him, uh, through him, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. The Bible is saying about our God, our Father that is in heaven, God is father to the orphans and a good shepherd to the widows. God is our father. For me, it was just like, aha, experience. I was, I was just like, my eyes were just open. Finally, I can have a father, a loving father, a heavenly father. I became a follower of Christ. My motivation became very clear, is to reach the word with this good news. God of the Old Testament, God of the New Testament, never changed. And so the fatherhood in the Old Testament, together with the fatherhood in the New Testament that we have, it is a perfect example of how the Lord walks with his people from day one until the day that he comes. There are prophecies in, in Isaiah, in the Psalms, in the book of Daniel, they are expecting, they're waiting for Yeshua HaMashiach to come and save the people of Israel. I'm praying for the people of Israel because it is sad to see that rejection that comes uh, towards uh, Yeshua. But I could see as well uh, in some areas, in some places, in, uh, in the new generation, the hope that they would understand that the loving God have brought them back here into their land so that he can come and save this nation. And they could tell him, Baruch Abba B'Shem Adonai. One day, these hearts that almost become a stone can become flesh again and open and accept the loving God through Yeshua HaMashiach in their lives.